What do you think about yesterday's killing of Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akleh? Okay, I know Shirin. I know her first name. Her last name is hard to read. By Israeli forces in the West Bank. She was very obviously identified as press when she was shot in the head. I still can't uh, get over how the AP at, um, and Al Jazeera headquarters in Gaza were bombed to rubble last year. How will Israel be held responsible for their attacks on free press? I don't think they will. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like It's so disgusting how Israel's violations of human rights. First of all, we're, right now we're applying Occam's razor and we're there's always a chance that, I don't know, it was someone else that shot her, but it doesn't seem likely. Like, it seemed like, but in case a news comes out and this is wrong, I just want to put on record that I acknowledge that everything could be different than what we're when being reported on, but it seems like very unlikely. It seems like def, it, it seems like it's very close to certain that it was the Israeli forces, okay, but we have to be skeptical. Um, but it just, it, it, there's no accountability for Israeli forces. Like, it's just, it just seems like they feel it, they give you this impression that, that they don't, they, that they feel like they don't have to be, that they don't have to tell you anything that they're not answerable to anybody and that they're above all of this, that they're justified in doing whatever they want. And even if they do an oopsie once in a while, like, yeah, well, this is what we, uh, what, yeah, we're defending ourselves. It's just like that. I just think like Israel um, can't pretend, like a lot of people pretend like Israel is one of these civilized, you know, it keeps, People keep comparing it to the countries around the region. And like when you compare it to that, like, okay, sure, you're above that. Um, when it comes to, I don't know, democracy and secularism and I don't know, gay rights and stuff like that. But you're not at all in the league of other countries. Like when it comes to being held responsible for human rights violations or just any form of accountability for what you do, they just completely shrug it off. Um it's just so so disgusting. I don't know. It's not just the fact that they do th just like kill journalists or innocent people. It's just it's also the after you know the the ideas like the feeling that they give you the the lack of any attempt of explanation or at least even the image of showing an attempt that they're trying to fix things or that they even care about it. You know, is it like, and they, they, not only they don't come and, you know, apologize or think this was a mistake and it's going to be, people are going to be held accountable. They do the opposite. They go out of their way to try to protect the people who are doing these violations and they're also coming at you like as if you're they're being wrong for because you're asking them questions they act like oppressed because the world is like why did you do that and they're like oh my god we're being oppressed again israel is being oppressed again because people are like like hey what the hell happened here it's just i don't know it's just so vile and disgusting the arrogance of it you know the arrogance and the way they shrug it off, the way that they think that you don't even have a right to question them. I don't know. It's just, I just hope that, you know, Israel is a great country and some in Israel needs to be liberated from a lot of these politicians. Okay. And I hope that more of the world, you know, not moving in the direction where they are opposed to this constant um, excuses that the international, you know, United States and some other countries make for Israel and constantly defend them no matter what they do. 
I think we're moving away from that. And I want the Israeli government to see that it's going to eventually start paying a price for not caring about abiding by certain standards. Because so far, they they have been they've noticed that they don't pay a price for it. So of course they're going to keep doing it. I just hope that now we sl we slowly at least we get to a place where it starts to sting. Like they actually do pay a price for it. And I think they, they some people are noticing that the world's the 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 world is shifting. However, Israel. I don't know if that's going to encourage them to finally start caring about certain standards or maybe just make them rely on some other countries on unity with other countries that don't care about these standards. Are we going to push Israel into the arms of, I don't know, relying on their unity less with the United States because there's finally a pushback or less with the Western European countries and more towards, I don't know, uh, China, Saudi Arabia, and stuff like that. I mean, the replacement is not going to be at all significant, so I still hope they feel the pressure. Yeah, Norse mythology is saying it's only two reasons, either accidentally or on purpose. Either way, whether it was accident, an accidental shot or on purpose, there is very limited accountability either way we don't know here's the thing we don't know if it was on purpose or accidental because they there's no transparent investigation they're like we don't have to show you anything we don't have to show you crap and even at times where they do show you that okay fine we have footage like but there's no way like there's no way that we could sweep this under the rock they go out of their way to protect the criminals who committed that as a way to signal to other IDF members that don't be scared because we, we got you. We got you're a boy. You're a boy. We got you. You, you shot a journalist. We got you. Don't like, you know, I don't know. Hey, guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.